So here's a question. <clears throat> We've got some lead metal. Well, just on, on, on the board here. Lead metal is placed in a silver nitrate solution. So what you want to determine is, well, is there a reaction that's going to take place here? And, um, and what would the net reaction look like, uh, spontaneous or non-spontaneous? How can we tell if it is as well? Well, first of all, you're going to need to have some information that's collated in, in a table. And there are tables that are available. And if your teacher doesn't give you one, you ask them for it. Because here's what this is. This table right here that I'm using is called the Table of Selected Standard Electrode Potentials. And that's kind of like, a, okay, that's a big title. But what it really is, it's a, half it's a, <laughs> it's a reduction half reaction chart. And so what's listed here is all kinds of crazy half reactions that occur. And really, this is just like a top 40 greatest hits kind of a chart right here because the list is almost endless of all the different types of chemical reactions that occur on this planet where electrons are gained or lost. Now, this chart right here writes everything as a reduction half reaction and ascribes to it uh, what we call a voltage. Um, that's a, that's a, a potential difference um, and it's called an E value or an E naught value under standard conditions of 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. And those voltages are given next to half reactions and we'll talk a little bit later about why and how those voltages have been set up and what the standard is by which that, uh, the charts are constructed. But here's what you do when you're given a sentence and, and it says lead metal is placed in silver nitrate solution and you want to write a net ionic equation to determine and determine the spontaneity of the reaction. So what you do is you look at that and you say, okay, lead metal and I've got a silver nitrate solution. Now you know that silver nitrate is a solution. What that means is that's an ionic solution. And what do ionic compounds do when they hit solution? They break down into their ions. And so really silver nitrate solution doesn't exist. It's silver ions and nitrate ions. This is not a reaction. I'm just putting commas here because I'm writing for myself a list of chemicals that are present in this solution. Nitrate ions, there's the water because water is present as a chemical in that solution too. Water gets involved sometimes in chemical reactions as you'll see. So here's a list of chemicals. Who in this mixture wants to lose electrons the most and who wants to gain them the most? Well, that's when you go to this chart and actually it's arranged where the thing that wants to gain electrons the most, now what does that mean? Gaining electrons, that's reduction. Reduction uh, is the oxidizing agent. The strongest oxidizing agent is generally listed at, on the top left hand corner. Which, and by the way, all the voltages go from positive to negative. There are some places in this world where they actually rank the voltages from negative to positive. And then what you have to do is reverse everything that I've said. What a hassle. Just start with the positives on top and put the negatives down below and quit confusing people. And somebody, just make this a standard on this planet. Anyway. The positive, the one that has the highest positive voltage as a reduction potential and um, uh, is the strongest oxidizing agent pretty much on every chart anywhere you're going to look is fluorine, F2 gas, top left hand corner, strongest oxidizing agent. And that means if you go all the way down to the bottom of this chart and you look for the strongest, uh, the weakest oxidizing agent, you're going to find that to be lithium uh, down here on the bottom left hand corner, but not lithium metal, lithium ion, Li positive. And everything in between is ranked in, or, in, in, in order of what is a stronger reducing or oxidizing agent than something else. So the oxidizing agents are listed uh, in terms of strength going from strongest to weakest down the left side. But then conversely, on the opposite side of the chart, on the bottom right corner of the chart, that's where you find the thing that wants to lose electrons the most. And if you're losing electrons, you're undergoing oxidation. And if you're undergoing oxidation, you are a, re a reducing agent. A reducing agent. So that means that the strongest reducing agent's on the bottom right hand corner, and that's lithium metal. That's the one that wants to get rid of its electrons the most. And then, reducing agents actually get weaker as you go up this way until you get to fluoride ion, F negative, up here. So you see, F2, which is fluorine gas, is the thing that wants to gain electrons the most. 
And once it does, it forms F negative, the thing that wants to give them up the least. Makes total sense.